This is Hydrogen Tap. What you're looking at here is a new Series 3LR1000. What I've done is made a few upgrades in this. If you look on the gasket or seal there on the bottom, it covers the whole bottom, which makes it a lot easier when you're putting the main system in it. And there's the gasket on the top. By making it fill that whole bottom area there, makes it very easy to reset the tube. This is the new upgrade for the top. It's made of two one half inch pieces of plastic instead of one. They're removable. As you can see the bottom of it. You can take the two pieces apart, which makes it even easier to change if you want. What we're looking at here is that's where the hydrogen comes in, or I should say it goes out. There's one of the electrodes. We're looking at the bottom of the top, and this is the other electrode. That is the water input port. And this is one of the set screws that combines the two half inch parts for the top. This makes the top very, very sturdy. There you can see the top and you can see the split, the two one half inch. Again, there's the screw that puts them together, there's two of those. That's your hydrogen output port. That's a T, that's three quarters of an inch, which is pretty big. And the water port there. Here's another upgrade, which I think you'll see right away. There's the cell caddy and if you look here there's no wires on the cells now completely replace them by those two bolts this is a whole new design and it's very very clean as you can see there's only two wires to it those two wires go directly to the top. And you can see how it fits in there. The caddy makes it real easy to maneuver, move, and change out. Again, do not touch the plates. They're sharp. Those two screws there are stainless steel. put the center stage in there. You can see how nicely it fits between the two columns there. Those two those four steel rods fit very very close to that tube. And then when you put the washer in there, it, it just about hugs that. There's a good view of the two water sensors, the top and the bottom. You can hook any electronics to this. One of the things I did is put a meter, a voltmeter on it. If you have a very sensitive voltmeter, you can hook it to that and actually see the water how conductive it is. Remember the hydrogen tap does not use any electrolytes. That's one of the prerequisites of all the units here. Do not use electrolytes. It uses straight tap water, thus hydrogen tap. If you want to see some more views you can go to hydrogen tap, that's one word, dot com. 
that's hydrogen, TAP.com. As you can see, come a long way since the first video that I've shown. Made a lot of friends, by the way. And the unit has evolved considerably. So you can see that is now one inch. Again, you can separate that. There's only two screws holding that together, so you can make more changes. This whole unit is changeable. Everything about the hydrogen tap is for the person who wants to make changes and go from where I stopped. The tubes are made from PVC pipe, but there's a catch. The pipe has been cut with a precision cutter, which makes it so it makes this seal on it. Without that precision cut, it is very difficult to get a good seal. With that precision cut, it does not take very much pressure at all to hold those two pieces together. That's the other thing the hydrogen tap system now has, a 3LR1000. It's pressure sealed. What that means is you can take apart the whole unit, modify any part that you like, and put it back together again. Most units you have the bottom still on it. In the beginning units, I had that. But in order to make it so we can upgrade it, I've changed it to this. The seals work really well. As you can see, the cell is now in there. As you can see, it is very nice. No wires is nice. This is now the bottom of the top with the cell connected. I think this unit is well worth waiting for.